Hey everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my channel. This will be my review for ICYMI number one from Alternative Comics. If you like this type of content, please do subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Also, please do like and share this video with others so they can enjoy it as well. Thank you to all those who have subscribed and left comments on my videos recently. You're awesome. You really are. Now, ICYMI is short for In Case You Missed It. This is a reprint of Mr. Crypt number one that came out in 2017. ICYMI is only 99 cents. As you can see down the bottom, introducing Mr. Crypt, the Living Skeleton, and Baron Rat. Now we get into this story, it sets the date at 1932. A, ske a skeleton gets up out of the grave. As you can see. And doesn't know where he is. So he walks into town. And immediately he's spotted. Look, there's an evil skeleton walking down the street. Now, for one, I find <laughs> this is this reaction here is just funny. I mean, really, how does and t two? How does the guy know it's an evil skeleton? Anyways, that that just adds to the humor. So he hides in this, uh, I think, a tailor shop. He steals a top hat, mustache, and coat to hopefully disguise himself. He's walking down the street, and this woman warns him that there's a skeleton about. And... He starts to, this is when he gives himself a name, calling himself Mr. Crypt. And the next day he's walking through this park, and he bends down to pet this dog. However, the dog grabs his hand and runs off. And like all dogs do, they... That he hands the. Oh gosh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. He hands the hand to this man. And then Mr. Cripps says, Unhand my arm, good sir! Alright, well, actually, it's just. Yeah, it is his arm. I thought it was just his hand. And then again, you know, the. the, the uh, there's the joke again. Hey, you can't fool me. You're that skeleton in disguise. And he says, oh no. So he's running from the townspeople again. And he runs back to the cemetery. And he notices a shack that he didn't before. He walks in and finds a coat rack, so he puts his hat and his uh, coat on the rack. Then he's scared because he sees a rat. <laughs> Ugh! Get away from me! But then he starts being all apologetic because the rat was there before him. And so he decides to keep the rat as a pet. He names him Baron Rat. And this is just fun. This is just fun funny. The rat's stomach is grumbling. So he decides to go into town and get something for the rat. 
because he already used money. I think he used money. No, he didn't. No, he didn't use the money to get the the hat. He stole that. He goes into a, a dairy, and this exchange is just funny. The the man says, "Hello, how may I help you?" One block of cheese for my pet rat, please. Now, really, can you imagine going into a grocery shop and saying that to someone? The grocer says, you have a pet rat? Yes, and he is quite large. I hope this is enough to pay for the cheese. <laughs> that is just... Uh, oh, gosh, that's funny. <laughs> And the grocer says, that sure was a strange fellow. <laughs> this is an all-ages comic book, so anybody can enjoy it. And as you can see, the art is simple. It, it's easy to see, and the humor is, you know, it is simple as well. And maybe lean towards dry a little bit. But all in all, I, I do enjoy it. So again, he gets spotted for the third time as the skeleton gets chased. So he goes back to the shack there in the cemetery. And they don't follow him because they don't want to go into the cemetery. He gives the cheese to Baron Rat, who is very grateful. Then he is someplace else in that same evening and loses his mustache. And he tries to get his mustache back without disturbing anybody. This time he actually succeeds and decides to get some better glue. Now it's the next day and he decides that this rundown shack here would look better if it had some flowers because these have been dead for quite a while. So what does Mr. Crip do? <laughs> well, Baron Rat points out that there are flowers over here. And he goes over to this house stealing some of these flowers. And he's spotted again for the fourth time. But then, Mr. Crypt has a has a, a a change of luck, you could say. He says, "This is starting to become absurd." When he hears, "Why, hello there, young man," and he's wandered into a library where he's given a job. Then this uh, kindly old woman Oh shoot. shoot here. Yeah, tells him to put these books away. And then his hat falls off. Then the woman does not blink an eye when she sees that his head is just a skeleton. Is nothing but bone. Oh my! He thinks, well, that's just great. There goes my new job and my new friend. He considers her to be a friend, even though they just met. And this is what she says here. You dropped your hat, mister. Um, what's your name again? 
I find it interesting that she gave him a job without getting his name first. He says, thank you. My name is Mr. Crypt. That is a very lovely name. And to end it up, end this, he says, finally, someone that I can call a friend. Maybe living in this town won't be so bad after all. And I think that's a really sweet story. Had I known about this in 2017, I would have been collecting it. But I didn't. It, it's it. It was it, it was a funny story, and the, I liked the running gag of always discovering that Mister Crypt was a skeleton and chase chasing him everywhere. If you can't get ICYMI at your local comic shop, you can get it at the Alterna Access dot com site. I think I have that correct. I'll link it down below in the description because Alterner has some really good books. I like their all ages books the best. You know, the ones that are light hearted like this. And like I said, the artwork is 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 simple. I can enjoy it. I can read it without any problem. It's how artwork used to be. And it's printed on newsprint too. So it's lighter than most comic books. Well that's my review for ICYMI number one from Alternate Comics. If you're new to my channel please do subscribe. Like this video and share it with others. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed and commented on my videos lately i really do appreciate you thank you ever so much i am michael for spirit comics